Hi, my name is Travis Gailey, and this is my wife, Mindy Gailey. And we're sending you this video because we want to win Here Come the Newlyweds. Yes. <laughs> we feel very cheesy right now. We're actually on our second honeymoon. Hence the lovely display behind you. And there's somebody practicing for something going on tonight, so we're trying to be a little quiet. But we're on a cruise ship out in the Mediterranean Sea right now, as I said, on our second honeymoon. So it's not really our first honeymoon because that was seven, eight months ago. That's right. September 15th. Yeah. In case you forgot. <laughs> so I think we're going to edit this copy, but anyway, we are on a cruise ship on day 10 of a 12 day cruise. We've gone from Rome to all over the Greece and Greece, Turkey, Alexandria, Egypt. Egypt. And, and let me tell you, if you ever want to test how a couple interacts, send them on a trip. Yeah. You'll learn real quickly what it's like when you have to catch a cab with five minutes to go before the ship pulls out. Right. So, so we've been there, we've done it, and that's why we're going to win. You just have to pick us. So just to tell you who we are, I am uh, 30 years old, just turned 30 uh, over this trip. On this cruise. And my husband, Travis, just turned 34 in March. And we got married in September, which when we we're making this video, as I said, was about eight months ago. And we now live in Annapolis, Maryland, but we're not from there. No. He's in fact, we're many people wouldn't even put us together because I'm a Texan. And from, I'm an Oklahoma girl. Right. And if you if you know anything about college football, that there's bad blood between us. So he's I'm obviously the smart one and Well, you know, <laughs> depending on if you say. consider Oki smart, then sure, go for it. And I'm the Republican, and he's the Democrat. I'm the Democrat. So again, we know who's the smart one here. And that, therefore, I have a heart, and she's cold and heartless, but it works. <laughs> I'm, I'm Protestant. He's Catholic, so we're the odd couple right off the bat. But at least I got him to wear my team's colors today. <laughs> so anyway, we are supposed to tell a couple stories. So we'll tell the story about how well, we got. Well, real quick, why, why don't we tell them where we were? Okay. I work as a TV reporter, freelance TV reporter, for several stations in the D.C. and Baltimore area. And I'm a television news producer. So, And it's news, by the way, not entertainment, so you don't have to worry about any contractual obligations or any conflict of interest or anything like that, right? This tape is getting right. boring quickly. But anyway, <laughs> I'm a TV news producer for a station in D.C., at an actual D.C. bureau, so we cover the news for the entire nation. And this is how we met, so maybe we should tell that story. Sounds good to me. We met at a TV station in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the NBC affiliate, and I was reporting and Travis was producing and he used to flirt in my earpiece when That's I was out doing stories. She would come and sit on my desk and flirt with me and dangle her legs like she didn't know what she was doing, but she knew. She knew. <laughs> didn't know. I thought he was just a friend of mine, and I used to talk to him, and obviously he had other motives. <laughs> That's why I flirted with her, but she liked it. Yeah. So anyway, he moved away to the Dallas station, one of the Dallas stations, and I later moved to Baltimore, and not long after, he ended up getting promoted to the D.C. area, which is when we uh, started dating for the second time. Pretty and fortuitous. Yeah, so it worked out well. A couple months later, engaged, which leads us to the engagement story. <laughs> which, by the way, she had, she had been telling me all along she wanted her family present at the engagement. And I said, okay, I promised her. I said, all right, your family will be there at the That's engagement. all I wanted. The only thing I asked from him, because I know the Well, no, 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 it's not the only thing she wanted. She wanted to script out the entire thing, but I told her, no, this is the man's work. I'm going to do the engagement the way I want, but I'll concede the family. So I let him surprise me with the engagement, but I kind of knew when the surprise was going to happen. It was either going to so happen she thought. Easter, when we were going to be with my family, or that summer, when we were going to be with my family. But that's not how it worked out. Easter came, and she called me, and she's like, Well, you're not here. I'm not getting engaged. I thought for sure you were going to fly out and surprise me. And he did use that screechy little voice. <laughs> I didn't fly out and surprise her. So she was very bummed. But what she didn't know was I had talked to her parents before Easter. And they were planning to come out to D.C. anyway. And I said, Well, listen, if you're going to come, why don't you come for her birthday? And that way, I'll ask her to marry me on her birthday, and you can be there to surprise her. 
So my birthday came around. We were in D.C. at the time, so we went out for dinner on a Monday night for my birthday, and I had no idea any of this was going to happen. She had worked all day, was not feeling real excited about her birthday anymore. Anyway. No, I thought it was going to be a bummer birthday. Anyway, we went out to dinner, and we're sitting there at dinner, and I told him that I didn't want to have any dessert, and immediately his wrist started to sweat, which I thought was really kind of weird. I'd never seen him start sweating on his wrist, but he had a suit she on. She threw me off kilter. I was going to ask her between the time we ordered dessert and the time it came, I was going to ask her to marry me. And she's like, no, let's just go home. And, and I didn't know what to do. I was like, well, how about a drink? And I just thought it was really odd that he was sweating so much. So I told him, you've got to take your coat off. You're really starting to worry me. I thought he was sick. She wouldn't stop talking about me being hot and sweaty. So she was like, him, take your coat off. You're really beginning to worry me. And he wasn't listening. He kept trying to distract me to the couple behind us. Who he were was, celebrating their anniversary. And I start talking about how sweet it was. I was like, look at them. They're celebrating their anniversary. They're here. They're having a good time. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your coat off. You're really worrying me. Apparently he was trying to segue into a proposal from the couple, but I just wanted him to take his coat off because he was really starting to worry me. So he gets up, says, fine, I'll take off my coat, stands up. I decided, okay, what am I doing? To take Why am off I finding it? And I turn around to get something with my lipstick or my camera or something like that. And the next thing I know, he's down on the ground. I thought he passed out and fell over. <laughs> no, I decided to use the taking my coat off to actually get on a knee. So I got on my knee. And I look at her, and once she realizes I didn't pass out, I don't know why she would think that, but once she realized that wasn't the case, I started to go into my spiel. About and I, all I see is this ring, and I'm thinking, oh no, he's asking me when my family's not here. That's the only thing I asked him was, make sure you propose when my family's around. And my parents were out in Albuquerque, New Mexico. There was no way they were going to be able to share in this moment. And all my relatives are scattered across the country, and I thought, there's, no, there's just no way this is what I had in mind. So I tell him, I said, are you really asking me now? Yeah, I asked her, and that was her answer. Are you asking me now? So I asked him again as he starts to go on to a spiel about how much he loves me. And I said, are you really asking me now? And by this point, I was worried. I was thinking, no. Oh. Darn, she's not going to say yes at all. She's going to, she's mad. I could see in her face she was mad. Yeah, but I realized that I was starting to scare him like I wasn't going to say yes. But I knew, of course, I'm saying yes. So I said, yes, of course, I'm saying yes. And I kissed him, even though I was still kind of mad. And I see this flash behind me like the waiter had just taken a picture. And I turn around, and it's not the waiter. It's my mom. And she had flown in from Albuquerque. And then I look over, and I see my dad. And he'd just come around the corner. Yeah, she didn't catch on that quick that night, though. I swear it was about ten minutes of looking confused at her parents. But when she figured out what was going on, her face melted into tears. And she was extremely happy. And the story doesn't stop there. We decided to sit down and have some champagne, but my dad seemed to be in a real hurry to get to the next bar. My dad doesn't drink much. I didn't know why he wanted to go to the next bar. We get up, we go out to celebrate and have champagne at the Ritz-Carlton in D.C. We go around the corner, we start to walk into the bar, and I see one of my uncles who had flown in from Pensacola, Florida. Then I see one of my aunts who had flown in from Oklahoma City. And then I see cousins and other aunts and other uncles from all over the country who were there. And I just... I was so excited. So we say all this to tell you, we may not come about things conventionally, but we do get there. And that's why we would be excellent for your show. Not to mention, we live in a little one-room apartment. And I mean, it's cozy. And so we do we want to need... have kids eventually, but right now the only place they're going is under the sink if right. we have them. Because so we can't... don't have any room. You can't so let us store our win. kids under the sink. We're doing this we for need the money. Win. We need the money. Is that's that right? It. That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pick us. Please. <laughs> okay, can we be done now? That's it, baby. <laughs> My beautiful wife. Yeah. See, again, she's hot, I'm not. Opposites attract. You're hot.